When it comes to balancing War Thunder, the key thing to focus on is to make sure all nations live by the simple rule of parity. What I mean by that is that War Thunder should strive to provide similar vehicles for each nation. However, this doesn't mean adding copy and paste vehicles, such as giving America the Tiger II just because it captured one. My perspective on parity is that if one nation, for example, has a self-propelled anti-aircraft gun at 6.7, then all nations should aim to have equivalent vehicles at that battle rating as well. With that being said, War Thunder has made efforts to provide each nation with capable SPA units at lower to mid ranks, such as the, the BTRZD and as well as the M5359 for the Russian tech tree, and many Many, many more have actually been added throughout the game, even with the UK including the Skink. However, one nation has been overlooked in the pursuit of parity, and that is being America. And in this video, I want to discuss some options I think America has that can actually improve the SPA line of the tech tree and also just create more parity whenever it comes to the mid ranks of SPA. That being said, I don't believe the quality of the American tech tree is diminished solely because of the absence of SPA. In fact, I think it's one of the few nations where mini tanks are just equipped with 50 cals, which means that you're able to compensate for the lack of SPA in some extent. However, there are specific areas I'd like to address, particularly the gap between the M16 and the M19A1, and as well as the space between the M42 Duster and as well as the M163. So first, let's start by looking at T10E1 GMC. This is a vehicle that could bridge the gap between the M16 and as well as the M19A1. Essentially, it's an upgraded version of the M16, but instead of the usual 450 cals that you're used to, it's equipped with two 20mm cannons. A vehicle R exists in the Israeli tech tree, which is basically this thing, which is the TCM20, which is at a battle rating of 4.3. In my opinion, though, that 4.3 battle rating just seems very odd. The TCM20, to me at least, is a very poor SPA, and for me, I would think the T10E1 should probably be put into like maybe 3.3 or 3.7, just depending on how it goes. But yeah, that's an Israeli vehicle. I'm, I'm pretty sure that they, they put it at 4.3 just so people can't go lower in BR with it and you know kind of just mess up the matchmaker but in my opinion it should be around like 3.7 to maybe 4.0 at most not 4.3 4.3 is too high for that vehicle now while I still prefer the M16 for its 50 cals and the amount of firepower that it can give out with the belts you gotta remember the 20 millimeters will reload more frequently than the 50 cals will so having this 20 millimeter version of the M16 to me would just give the players more flexibility and more options to pick from to what SPAs they might want as you know the 50 cals may take more rounds to actually take down a target while while the 20 millimeters may take like one or two rounds to hit it and it's completely going down so it's pretty much just personal preference and for me i think this would be a very good addition to the american tech tree just not at 4.3 i don't know why the one in the israeli tech tree is at 4.3 just seems like a very odd battle rating but for for this one the t10 e1 i definitely would say it's good at like 3.7 another option gaijin could possibly consider is the t77 this vehicle is essentially an m24 chaffee but with the 75 millimeter gun removed to accommodate six 50 cal machine guns in the turret. Now there is a big misconception with the T-77 that it is enclosed, which makes it to where many people think that it's really hard to actually kill this thing with gun from like an aircraft. But in reality, it's still a chaffy hole that is very susceptible to actually being gunned out by like the 20 millimeter MG-151 AP rounds, for example. Now, if you look at a different angle of this vehicle, you can actually see on the top of it, it's actually exposed. The gunner and I believe the commander or slash loader is also going to be exposed on the other side of the tank, which means that this thing can actually just be gunned out. Now, there is a Coppola type thing that they, they can add onto this thing, which is bulletproof glass. Now, once again, I don't really think the bulletproof glass will be stopping 20 millimeters. So it's going to be one of those things that could actually be a hindrance to you because as we know, creating HE shot traps on the vehicles is not the best thing to actually do. However, with that being said, I still think the T-77 will be a valuable addition to the American Tech Tree and War Thunder, especially for the BR bracket of around 3.7 to 4.0. I think this thing would be very good because as we know, the 50 cals are in like one congested area, which means the burst mass of this thing for hitting targets should be very, very good. At the same time, I don't think this is going to be an overpowered SPA just because the cannon rounds can easily just pin this thing. I mean, it's still going to be in a chaffy hole. It's not going to be like the Skink, which can, you know, knock off majority of MG-151 rounds, but for this Thing, it should be a little bit better and it should give America a little bit of more parity whenever it comes to SPA at the lower tiers. To bridge the gap between the M42 Duster and the M163, I believe we need two SPA vehicles within that BR bracket. One at around the 5.0 BR bracket and one that's starting to hit around 7.0 to 7.3. The first vehicle I propose in the slot is the M114A2. This is a very interesting vehicle because it's basically an M113 but a little bit smaller because the M114s were mainly used for reconnaissance roles. However, within this example of War Thunder, they actually put a 20mm cannon on it, which means that it can be used as an SPA. 
So for War Thunder at least, we already have very similar vehicles to how this one would perform in game, which is the AMX 10P for France and as well as the Cell for Japan. Both of these vehicles already have 2 million linear cannons on them, and they also have an APDS round, which makes them very capable of actually shooting at tanks, which for some is a very big concern, and for others it is some of the most fun that you'll ever play. The AMX 10P is one of my favorite little just gremlin tanks at the lower BRs of War Thunder, and honestly, even if they just introduced the M114A2 with the, just the ability to shoot out planes, I won't really complain about it. I feel like for me that I would rather have the vehicle at a lower BR than it be something like, you know, give it APDS to where it just shoots a tank. Because as we know, that's basically what the sub and as well as the M AMX 10P do is they shoot at tanks. The aircraft is kind of just not a problem for them because the traverse of the cannons is actually pretty slow compared to, you know, other SBAs. So for the BR that I think the M114 should actually go to, it should probably be around like 5.3 to 5.7. If they give it at 5.3, it should be without the APDS belt. If they give it at 5.7 then it should probably be equipped with the APDS belt and it's going to be sad that it's just going to be another SPA unit that's just designed to kill tanks but it will give America at least something to actually attack aircraft with which I think is very important for that battle rating bracket. The next vehicle I believe that could fit into the range of 6.7 to 7.0 would be the T100 Stinger. This vehicle is quite intriguing instead of the 50 cals that you're used to from America, America actually created a new caliber which is the 60 caliber which is kind of actually odd to think about in a way but at the same time it was developed from the MG 151 which was the 15 millimeter that the Germans were having during World War II. Now after there's a new caliber that was actually made for this SPA it was actually equipped with a radar which is very kind of funny to think about because you may be like dog why do you think a vehicle which has radar should be 6.7 or even like 7.0 even and the reason I say this is because for one we don't really know how this radar will perform in game it's one of those very like hit or miss things would actually be good or would actually be bad but the thing about this radar is, is that it was designed between 1948 and 1950 one, which means that this primitive technology of a radar isn't going to be the best in the world. It's going to be one of the radars that kind of just feels probably not the best whenever you're using it. It's probably going to give you the wrong lead indication. It's probably not going to track as well. So honestly, it would be one of those things that is very determinative of what Gaijin actually does to the radar of this thing. If it's actually good, then maybe it can be like 7.3. If it's really bad, then probably going to be around 6.7. But at the same time, the range of the 60 caliber cannons should not be that great. I mean, it's going to be just a little bit more than 50 cals currently would, but you you know it is going to be a little bit of an improvement and i feel like for this vehicle it very much served well at like 6.7 to maybe 7.0 when it comes to war thunder with that being said i believe these options represent the best choices for introducing new spa units solely manufactured by america perhaps in the future if america re receives some sort of subtree or they get some new revenge vehicle or something maybe we can get some new spa from other nations within america that would outperform the ones mentioned in this video i'm also aware that there's many other spa options for america but to be quite honest with you guys most of them are really crap or that they just kind of they're they're introduced into a already existing br bracket for me at least i don't really find that as a viable thing to do like i know there is like the t52 or whatever it's called and as well as the t36 which are two spas which are based on the sherman chassis at the same time those two are very hit or miss spas once again they're not going to be used for actual shooting at planes because the turret rotation speed on those things probably is very poor so at the end of the day this list is more or less designed to get a America just in line with parity. I don't really want SPAs within the game which are mainly designed to just kill tanks as we've seen how that goes with the ZSU 57s and as well as the Falcon. I mean as you can see that is not the greatest in the world to actually be facing this thing. So you can always expect America to always have at least something that can be put in these battle rating brackets. The only question that really has to be asked now is why has Gaijin never did this? Why has Gaijin never introduced any new SPAs? Why did Gaijin give Britain the skinker for example? And I don't really know the answer to that and I feel like that's the answer that needs to be answered from Gaijin soon just because it is very I don't know it feels like America has been definitely a nation that has been left out whenever it comes to adding new SPA units. So if you do enjoy this video make sure to check out some of the War Thunder tip videos I have and I hope everyone has a wonderful day and we'll see you guys in the next War Thunder video.